Pre-made loops are great to work with, but sometimes they're a little messy, especially if you start layering them with each other. I want to show you guys how to use one of Logic's native plugins to clean up your loops, create a little bit more space in your mix, and actually take from them what you want. Right here I've got three loops that are all working together. I really like them, but what if they were tighter? Um, and what I mean by tighter is that there's less of that sustain and that reverb going on, which can be a little bit distracting. I'm gonna start with the first loop. I'm gonna open up the Enveloper, which is probably one of the most overlooked plugins in Logic. And I'm just going to use this gain here. And I'm gonna be really extreme with this to start with, just to show you what What's happening, what's changing, and then we're going to use the time as well. So it's pulling down the release or aka the sustain. As it's pulling that down, it's removing also the reverb and to be frank, it's doing it way, way, way too much. So let's try and find a nice middle ground and then adjust the time. That sounds really nice. Now let's adjust the time and see if we can get it to release for longer or for shorter. 200 is always a good starting point, so try going further forward and further back. That sounds pretty natural to me. Now, if you don't own Logic and you don't use the Enveloper, there are other plugins as well. Uh, the Transit Master is a really good one by Native Instruments, but I'm gonna continue with the Enveloper for now. Transit Master is even easier to use. There's just a sustain dial and you can just pull that down. Let's try this percussion all over loop. So we can hear those delays in the background. I think that by putting down this release here, it's gonna get rid of the delays. Let's have a listen. Again, let's find a happy medium. I'm quite happy there, and now let's adjust the time. And without. A little bit cleaner, a little more control. Okay, one more, shaker things. Let's grab the enveloper and be really drastic at first, then find your medium ground and then use the time. Now, to be honest, what I found with the enveloper on the shaker tings is that the shaker tings is already very clean. So this loop doesn't really need the enveloper at all. But what I wanna do is just play the three together, turning the enveloper on and off to show you the before and after. I 
I think you'll find that using the enveloper is great for tidying up loops, but it's not just loops that you can do this on. So experiment with other sounds where you can. Remember at Sample Tools by CR2, we also offer a mix and mastering service. Just head over to www.sampletoolsbycr2.com, click on the mastering tab, and you'll find our range of services there.